Okay, time to go finish some stuff today. I'm carrying a lot in the backpack today, but there's tons of stuff there, including the drone actually. I'm hoping I have some time to fly a bit afterwards. Okay, just finished and the light is dying fast. The light's dying, the light's dying. I think I can fly in this little spot right here. I can't really go forward and stuff like that. Uh, better than nothing, I guess. Okay, that was some cool, I think, sunset shots. It looks kind of really neat with the redness and stuff. It's actually better here. Although, again, couldn't really fly much. Okay, the time just flew by today. I didn't get a chance to read too much of the news, but I read the one that you guys sent me about the drone search and rescue today. It was basically in an area where they were searching for missing women and they decided to use drones. As it says here, volunteer team uses drones in search for missing women. Team shares findings with RCMP to aid in its investigations. A volunteer search team based in Enbridge, BC, 37 kilometers northwest of Silver Creek where human remains were found last month is using drones equipped with cameras to help find out what happened to other women missing from the area. So usually with missing people in those areas, you try to look for anything. It even says here, the search team is looking for clothing, footprints, disturbed soil, evidence of human activity or anything that seems out of the ordinary. If they find anything or collect any images of interest, they are alerted to the local RCMP. And they say here, we felt that it wasn't possible for one group to cover enough ground. It's a very large rural area where the women have gone missing and it wouldn't be able to see it all. And it says here, the group decided to use drones because of the size of the area and its varying terrain. The team goes out with drones whenever they can round up enough volunteers to do a safe investigation. And if they get a tip from the public about something that may be of interest. And according to this, it's basically drone companies that are volunteering their time. It's kind of interesting reading stuff like this. It makes me think, you know, even as a recreational flyer, they say anyone that has tips, well, what if a recreational person is just flying for fun and they see something? Or even like with this thermal camera stuff, what if I learn how to use a potential thing with a drone in a very good way? Can I help out as well? I mean, that's something to think about instead of just banning everybody. Like, I, I'm a recreational flyer, but who knows? If I can help in this way, why not? Kind of gets me more interested in this kind of stuff. And the other interesting news I read was about the Minecraft. Anyone remember that when the internet went down with all the hacking and stuff? Well, apparently the court case concluded. So but the way it works is essentially people have their own servers, they make big money basically hosting these servers and these guys used an algorithm to attack other servers to take them down so they'll have all the business and eventually they sold the code and people used it for other devious means which they took down various websites like Netflix and everything like that and it was a bunch of college students that did this, not like an organized mob or anything like that and they were basically held responsible eventually. Okay, speaking of thermal cameras and stuff, I'm actually testing it in this specific space. I was thinking since I passed by, there's a lot of tight areas and as well, there's a lot of animals and stuff. So this will be a good test for the night vision and even though there's a lovely Christmas tree and stuff over there. Enough as I'm using this and in terms of vision what's kind of disorienting is I guess for your eyes you see all the light by staring at the screen and then when you look back up it looks so dark it takes like just a couple of seconds to get the vision back.
was actually kind of spooky and probably dangerous. You probably shouldn't do that unless you really know the area and everything like that. But it's a really good test, but I was able to see pretty much everything. All right, here's a drone footage I captured too. Alright, see you guys later.